Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is uh, eBay Dre here. I am here at my um, storage unit. So for those of you who don't know, I am a full-time uh, eBay reseller. I, uh, I've been selling on eBay for a while, but um, I've been doing full-time for about a year and been doing part-time for probably about two years. So I went uh, full time about a year ago. And so um, I wanted to show you today my bin system. So what I did was uh, Costco used to have these bins and they were probably, I think about 10 bucks. And so what I do is on each of my listings down in the description, I have a, um, a place that says for warehouse and I'll put the number um, that coincides with the bin. This is actually painting tape. Um, you know what? I, I think I just started using it because it was all I had at the time. And um, it worked well. And so I just kind of stuck with it. Um, so I think this is the, I believe this is the two inch. And then what I also do too is I have uh, the date. So there's the bin and then I have the date. Um, of when that item was um, listed uh, just as a second measure of security so uh, you know if I somehow forget to put the number then I could do um, I could look at the date of when uh, it was listed and uh, and go from there and see what see what see what bin it's in as well some of them have it and some of them don't um i started reusing bins so like say a bin like this that is uh that doesn't have a lot of stuff in there um i'll either take that stuff out put it re-bin it in another bin and change the number in the listing and then take this bin and uh, reuse it so uh that's another thing i do i was using these and getting them at Costco for, oh, I forget how much they were. I think they were like $7.99. And then they stopped using them. I like these because they had the folding, um, they have like the folding lids. I love these things. They do, they, they, they have a lot, you know, they carry a lot. And then I like that they're, um, they're see-through. So if I, if something is lost or if I can't find something or something like that, um, you know, if, if say I forget to put the bin on there, the bin number on there, or um, if the wrong bin, if I look through this bin and it's not in here and I have to actually look for the item in the bins, I can do that because it's clear. Um, so then what happened was these were discontinued and so I had to move to these. These are okay. I mean, they're not as big. Um, they have these. They have these. Uh, these lids, which are okay. Um, they're not as big, but they work. And they're cheaper, too. They're like, um, what? I think I pay like 20 I forget that at Costco I think they're like three for 15 or something like that um, so they are a little bit cheaper they're a little bit smaller but it's the only option I had really at the time um, sometimes I you know I've seen the people who uh, you know from um, who use tech and sports well tech and sports does something else but like uh, the, his partner I forget what his uh, his partner's name is um, he used to be 10K on the Bay. Uh, I forget his name. His name is Chris, but, um, th his method is they use the, um, they use the cardboard boxes and then they, they wrap everything. They get everything ready in plastic. I never, ah, for some reason that just takes too long as far as like listing, having to put in plastic. Then what if you have to look for an item and then what if somebody just wants, I don't know. It just seemed too complicated for me. So I just, you know, have them loosely here. Something sells. 
I look it up, see where it's at, and then uh, I package it from there. So just wanted to show you guys what my binning system looks like. My, uh, this is a uh, storage. Oh, and then I have my jackets. Stuff that's like kind of too big for these bins. I have in here, you know, these are bigger. I got these from Costco as well. These are a little bit more expensive, but they hold a lot more. And so I put my jackets in here, my jackets, and I do some bags as well. So I'll do bags in here as well. Um, I was sticking with clothes for a while and not buying any hard goods, but I think I'm gonna um, start kind of opening my eyes to hard goods as well. So I do have clothes, but I do have some hard goods in here as well. So that's the cool thing is I can put hard goods. I got some shoes and gloves and stuff in there too. So uh, let me know if you have any questions. Hope everyone's having a good day, good summer. I know uh, sales are a little bit slow right now. Sales are really slow for me. Um, but we're trying, doing, doing some promotions and some sales and doing some promotions and some sales to try and, uh, you know, keep, keep the cash flow coming in. So we'll see what happens. Uh, anyhow, thanks for watching guys. Please do let me know if you have any questions and I will see you later.